Movie Guru Found Movie Goers. Today is Saturday, May 4th, 2013. We are coming to Scranton. I think those are the houses they filmed to the right. Uh, so we are in Scranton, Pennsylvania. We're driving here for uh, The Office Rap Party. Our new favorite, favorite show is The Office. It takes place in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Uh, the show takes place in Scranton, and uh, it's, the, it's the last uh, season. Uh, and they're having what's called a Scranton Rap Party. And um, rap party, like they're rapping the show up. And uh, tons of the actors from the show are coming to Scranton. Pennsylvania, well, of course, where I went to the University of Grant. Take a look at the University of Grant side. And, um, oh, I have to think of where we're going. Um, we are here. We got regional manager seats for some of the events. Very, very exciting. And, um, got to think of where we're going. London. Uh, I like tiny TV screens. So, um, tons of the actors there, and it's cool. Uh, Dwight Schrute came to, um, Allentown last night. He flew in, it's so right up the street. He was tweeting it. But I uh, guess yeah, so. Uh, Dwight Schrute, Jim, and Pam are gonna be there. A bunch of other characters will be here too. But anyway, we're hoping to get some cool movies, some good pictures, and it should be really great. Um, uh, okay. I can see you turn off. Hey, take a picture of my pork shirt. I do like it. I do like it. Hey, all right. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Anyway. Uh, Hi. Oh, Valerie looks extra pretty today. She's skinny. Whatever. <laughs> Do not ask the questions. What Just the kidding. Heck? We asked last time. Go well, back to Canada. Oh, we're, we're going. There, We found tickets. Oh, we found tickets. <laughs> you see that clock up there, Valerie? What? That clock? It was donated in memory of a, uh, I think, a student who died here. He's right down there. I think he was down there. He was down there. I don't know. Some of the actors showed up early. Yeah. Yeah. Is that my uh, baccalaureate? There's uh, St. Thomas Hall. So I had all my theology classes. Yeah, that was my dorm up there. The one, uh, so we're going to get this thing started in about five minutes. We're just going to make a couple small adjustments here. Uh, uh, some of our panelists and the people will be asking questions from the local media. So uh, if you guys just hang tight, we're going to get this rolling real soon. came in 2007, and uh, this one kid, Greg, was in this video I knew really well. I was uh, a lecturer with him at the um, Bacalaureate last year. This is so funny. You know, there's the library. There, him. I knew him. It's a cool type of atmosphere.
Thank you. There you go. We'll start the panel out. We'll just start asking you guys a couple of questions. Some of these questions are directed at each of you individually. We'll let you know. Others, if you want to just jump in and answer away, it's kind of free flowing here. So I guess I want to start out with the, the obvious question, and maybe Greg, this goes to you. I'd like to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it feels like a congressional hearing or a presidential debate. Uh, right? The thing is set up. <laughs> yes, no, I can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, thought, I thought we were going to, to uh, did everybody hear the introductions and know what everyone does on the show? Yes. Yeah, why, why don't you do that? Why don't you guys okay. tell us all what you do? Sounds good. Okay. Um, I'm Claire Scanlon, and I edit the show along with David Rogers and Rob Burnett. And from time to time, I direct as well. I directed Angry Andy, where Andy punches a hole in the wall. And Here Comes Trouble, where Stephen Colbert is roughly My name is Matt Sohn. I'm the director of photography. I'm also the camera operator on the show. Uh, I've also uh, been fortunate enough to get to direct several episodes as well. Including <laughs> Name Sucker. Uh, the last episode I directed was Stare Again. Uh, <laughs> that was just on the computer too. Got a bunch of uh, scripts that Allison has written. Uh, I'm Allison Silverman. I'm a co executive producer, which uh, in my case means a writer. Um, and uh, yeah, I wrote uh, a few episodes, um, Andy's Return, um, and uh, 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 Pam's Replacement, and Roy's Wedding. I feel like you guys know who Paul and I are, so let's go to, to Phil. Okay, hi, my name is Philip Shea, I'm the property master. My job is to represent Scranton through props on the show. I was going to address this in that in the remarks, but um, I didn't very know very much about Scranton, and uh, uh, I just kind of knew that it had a heyday, maybe more in the past than in the present, and um, uh, I since learned a lot about it. I think it's a wonderful city, um, but at one point I think it was like the like 1887 or something, it was like the number one city in America in many different things. Um, and I guess maybe there was something about uh, the nostalgic feeling or the poignancy of it not being that now. I mean, there was a ton of other reasons. We, there, the paper magic place, and I went into a drugstore and looked on all these paper valentines. I was trying to think about paper stuff, and a lot of them were printed in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Um, you know, and there's a writer named John O'Hara, who was like, I was reading a lot at the time. He was uh, kind of a cool writer, the tone of the show a little bit, and he wrote a lot of stories in Scranton. There's a lot of different things. And then when, um, when I was uh, pretty sure it was going to be Scranton, John Krasinski came. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got John O'Hara. <laughs> John um, no, so he uh, he came. Uh, he, he was going to drive from New York to to L.A. to begin working on the pilot, and he said, "Where should I go? I want to do some research about the show." And he and his friends, I said, "Scranton. It's going to be definitely Scranton." And he came and drove through with uh, a few friends with a documentary and camera, and he interviewed a lot of people working at these different paper companies. And he also shot all of the footage that's in our main title sequence that you probably are familiar with. That was all shot on his research trip, his actor's research trip. Um, and then when we saw the footage, we realized that there were plenty of real Michael Scotts all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. Someone's going to have one line. But we just try to make sure that everybody has a good, solid, meaty episode to play uh, every once in a while. You know, like, did I stutter or something? Or there's, there's so much great Toby material that you'll never see. It's, uh, it 
it's sad because <laughs> it's always often like the fifth storyline in the show. And you get to the editing room and you're like, oh god. Well, he's the first one that cut himself. Paul's, fa <laughs> Paul's favorite person to cut out is Toby. As soon as he gets in the editing room, he's like, cut Toby. And we're like, oh, we end up fighting for Toby. And the first person to say, get rid of him. It always looks so bad to me. <laughs> Why would anyone want to watch? <laughs> That could maybe handle the are, the are the actors like their characters question. <laughs> In a dark and hopeless city. Money. Money, 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 money! Greed. You're going to hell in a handbasket. Arrogance. What shop labor? <laughs> Injustice. This is America. Speak American. Bigotry. God hates you. Hatred. Abortion. And the death penalty. And violence run rampant. And not a single person will stop no me. No one will stop me. <laughs> but one church. One family. And one man. Stand in their way. Hey, how you doing? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, sorry, my good man. I, I didn't mean to bump into the aisle. Have a fantastic day. <laughs>
sorry, my good man. I, I didn't mean to bump into the arm. Have a fantastic day. <laughs> Who are you? Well, actually, I'm Captain Catholic. Here to spread the values of love, hope, and the Catholic way. I don't want that cake free anywhere near. God be with us. Let's get this party started. The Catholic Church will prevail! Fantastic! Love is never defeated. Captain Catholic. Welcome to CaptainCatholic.net, where you can find all 10 productions of the Captain Catholic series in their full and uncut forms. Theatrical trailers to all three Captain Catholic movies. Every segment of the Ask Captain Catholic miniseries. An extensive character section featuring spotlights of all 33 characters from the Captain Catholic universe. Informative research-based reports written by Captain Catholic himself on modern-day moral, political, and social justice issues with ideas for how you can be an active participant in transforming society into a more loving, fair, and just world. Captain Catholic like apparel for charity, offering Captain Catholic sweatshop free t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, hoodies, and more. Captain Catholic merchandise for charity, offering Captain Catholic t-shirts, posters, bumper stickers, coffee mugs, wall clocks, and much more. Captain Catholic neckties and office supplies for charity, offering neckties, postage stamps, and binders. All merchandise profits go straight to charity, specifically to Catholic Relief Services, an organization providing assistance to the poor in over 300 third world countries. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started.